Hey guys! So, today we are going to answer a subscriber question. And the question in question was, Frederick, what does a JavaScript do? So let's get into it. Now this is... Uh, it's, a, I, it's a good question. It's a, it's a very fair question. JavaScript might be very... like since... I mean, if you are starting from scratch, it's reasonable to think that you don't know like what the different programming languages are about. So let's actually talk about JavaScript a little bit. So first and foremost, JavaScript is primarily a programming language that is used in the browser. In other words, when you use your browser, you go to the internet and you use pages and stuff of this nature, the thing that you're seeing is not JavaScript. The thing that you're seeing is HTML and CSS. It's a document of some sort. However, without going into too much detail, in order for you to be able to do certain things that wasn't really part of these two base technologies back in the day, we needed to add a programming language to execute logic. An example is if you ever thought about the differences between clicking on a link and getting to a new web page versus maybe adding a comment to a comment section, notice that one, if you click the link, you get sent to a new page. Now that is just basic, the basic way of how HTML and, C HTML and the web kind of works. But when you add a comment, you may notice that the comment just magically appears, the box that you just or the comment that you added just magically appears without the page refreshing. That's JavaScript helping you out. JavaScript allows you to execute certain things that originally wasn't possible through web technologies. So that's the main thing that, web, like, that JavaScript was designed to do, to help us Im improve the experience, if you will, of using web pages. Now today, JavaScript has gotten quite more advanced. It can do, I mean, it, that's still what it is primarily designed to do. It's just a programming language that allows you to enhance the experience of web pages. But today we have technologies such as, say, Node.js, which allows you to run that code on just any computer without outside of the browser, which allows you to pr produce web applications, like entire servers and all that stuff which allows you to build pretty much any type. You can build the entire web application, everything from the server all the way on to the interface in all JavaScript. And something, I mean, it's a fairly popular technology. Some people like it, some people don't, but it is possible. Other things that you can do with JavaScript as a programming language is that you can produce desktop applications through, say, a technology such as Electron. That's also possible. And then you may have heard of JavaScript being very popular in various tools and frameworks, React, Angular, Vue, and so forth. At the end of the day, that's, these are the base things that JavaScript is designed to do for you. So the, it's, a, it's a very flexible programming language that is a, that the, where the original use case was to enhance the user experience in the browser, but it has grown quite quite beyond that at this point and today it's something that you can use to build pretty much anything you can almost I mean you can even build mobile applications with JavaScript so what I want you to take away from this is that the JavaScript is just a programming language that originally was designed to help you improve the user experience in the browser but today you can use it to make web servers you can use it to make desktop applications you can use it to make computer games if you wanted to you can use it to make mobile games and of course you can use it for the web so as you can see it's kind of grown on us and today it can do quite a lot more than it originally was designed to do have a great day